start from here. Good. And then put them on the, this will show positive control. Good. Go back and forth a couple of times to show how we never. From there to there. So we always have positive control over the dog. So you can let go of the tab once you have them on the prong. So now let go of the tab there. Good. Now switch back. We have to hold the tab from the flat collar back onto the prong. And once we have a lock on the leash, you could let go of the tab. And the tab lets go. Good. Then if we're going to put them onto the flat collar, we have the tab, finger lock, remove, back on there, and do a show one more time back and forth. Lock. Positive control. Tab can come down. And then back onto the flat collar. Good. So now from here you could hold both as the agitator comes in. So you have them on the flat, but you still have you can still have the tab if you need it. Alright, Josh, you come in. Let's do a nice technical. We'll do a technical. So I'll just talk through it. Alright, so we have agitator. So now stand a little back further, Josh, so we could show the zip from there. So what happens is Judy, she'll, she, she'll, she could drop the tab, and then when she wants to release, she's going to unlock, she's going to unlock her, her left hand, that's the leash holding hand, and she's going to let the leash glide over her zip hand, which is that lead hand there, her right hand, and her locked hand, and you don't put any resistance on the leash, you just let it glide right over the top of your palm, so the dog can go very smooth to the bite, but you don't lose control over the dog. At any point, you could technically stop the dog. This way it doesn't overshoot the agitator or you know come around the agitator if the agitator has an open, open jacket if you're doing, doing a drill. Uh, but this allows the dog to still have full momentum. All right, so it'll be on Judy. You give him a send and you'll just let it zip right out. Okay. Good. There you go. Comes back up. She locks. She can pet him. Good. Now she wants to switch on to the tab. She could still grab the tab. She has her finger lock up there. You could just grab the tab. You could grab them both. Good. You see? Now she's going to have him sit. She could give a correction. She has it. Now she give him a rebite. Watch her hand. Good. So you're going to zip out to the end of the leash now. Good boy. Go all the way to the end, Judy. She zips. Now when she does a recall, it's just reverse. She reels it in and locks. So give him a recall. Come. Come. Zips. Locks. Now if she wants to, she could grab that tab if she needed to be able to give him a leash correction. She has full control. All right, good. good. Put him in a set. Sit. Good. good. Now, boy. if she wants to do another send, just watch the hands. Good boy. Everything is going to be both the hands together. See the reserve? That's all that extra leash over there. All right, this will catch someone off guard. No, the dog has all that extra leash there. On you, Judy, you send them. Give him a slip, Josh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Good. You can switch him back to the tab.
want to do a re see if you get a recall, recall, a recall. Give him a recall, then a re then a rebite. Okay. Another sound. Slide out. Slide out. Or fail. Come. Good boy. Come. Good. And then another sound. Uh, there you go. Slip one over, Josh. <laughs>